When was the last time you did something for the first time? You remember that feeling of hesitation. Maybe you're not ready. Perhaps you're not good enough. You doubt yourself. It's a long road ahead. And right now you think safe is a good place to be. You take a step back, but in doing so, you see the whole picture. You remember the stakes you were brave enough to take. So you shout at the unknown no longer, because you are your own master. You rise up, because you know you're not alone. Because you stand on the shoulders of the ones before you. Through them you realize, you are more afraid of not trying than failing. They hold your hand, lead you to the peak of your potential. And once on top, you take the leap and do it. The first time you flew and tasted freedom. The first time you went the extra mile and never looked back. The first time you understood that something so small could change the course of your future. The first time you put yourself first. At First Metro Asset, we value you and your achievements. As we navigate through this better normal together, we are here to help you cherish your firsts and make those moments last. Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? I hope you're all safe and healthy. Thank you for spending your Thursday night with us by attending this webinar. We will share with you why and how you can conveniently invest in the Philippines consumer sector, even when you are on a budget. I'd like to welcome you all to this webinar with the theme, Invest in the Philippine Growth Story with First Metro Consumer Fund. I'm John Philip Billiones, a business development officer of First Metro Sec and I'll be your host for tonight's special webinar. This is in collaboration between First Metro Securities Brokerage Corporation and First Metro Asset Management. We're honored to have speakers from both companies to share their knowledge and expertise. First, we will be hearing from Sir Andoy Beltran. He will be discussing a brief overview of the Philippines consumer sector, our research team's stock picks, and how to buy FAMI mutual funds from FundSmart. Second, we will also be joined by Nikki Monzon. She will be highlighting First Metro Consumer Fund and discuss how it is different from other mutual funds in the market today. She will also share how investing in this fund can fit into the overall portfolio of Filipino investors. Are you excited to learn already? Without further ado, let's get to know our representative from First Metro Sec. Our first speaker is the Head of Business Development and Market Education and the Assistant Vice President of First Metro Securities Brokerage Corporation. He has over 16 years of experience in this fields of banking, finance, investments, and public speaking. He is a BSP, SEC, PSE, and Bloomberg Certified and Licensed Investment Professional. He is also a proprietor and a partner of a number of businesses ranging from cars to cafes, the real estate build and sell, a stock market investor since 2005, and entrepreneur since 2003. Let's all welcome Mr. Andro Leo Andoy Beltran. How are you, Sir Andoy? Uh, thank you so much for that uh, wonderful intro, JP, uh, and to our, uh, so far, uh, 41 plus plus, 41 and growing uh, live attendees. Good evening again. As mentioned by JP, maraming salamat no, for joining First Metro and First, Met, uh, First Metro, Second First Metro Asset Management's uh, lab webinar for tonight so without further ado please allow me to share my presentation screen there you go uh so thank you good evening to our viewers and welcome to this joint webinar brought to you made possible by uh, first metro asset management and first metro sec 
Uh, the intention really is uh, to highlight hassle-free, budget-friendly, and most importantly, you know, especially in this day and age, a safe and convenient shortcut, or, or as, as we millennials uh, call it, hack. A safe and convenient hack for people, for, for Filipinos at that, to invest in the Philippine growth story. I will be sharing with you guys a background about the Philippines' uh, what, consumer sector. Let me throw in uh, our official outlook, first Metro Securities official outlook, our consumer picks, and of course, how you can buy all of them in one amazing mutual fund through FundSmart. So as you know, the Philippines has consumer-centric economy. In fact, 70% of the country's GDP GDP. It's essentially household expenditure. And in the Philippine setting, talk about household expenditure, it's fueled mainly by jobs and remittances. So when you talk about the source of income, yung source ng pera ng uh, karamihan ng pamilyang Pilipino, kadalasan ng, na, nakukuha natin yan sa mga trabaho, employment, at galing sa OFW remittances, galing sa ibang bansa. Now, as far as the future of the job market is uh, concerned, kasi baka meron tayong, baka iniisip natin, no? parang, andoy, uh, we perfectly understand na yun madalas yung source ng income, pero because of the pandemic, ang daming Pilipinong nawala ng trabaho. No? Let's look at it from uh, a numbers standpoint, from research standpoint. As far as the future of the job market is concerned, we need not worry because more than 60% of the population is considered to be in the what we call the demographic sweet spot. Ano ba yung demographic sweet spot? No? Importante na alam natin yung present situation in the what's what what lies ahead ano yung future kaya nga pag-uusapan natin yung outlook demographic sweet spot daw 60% 6 out of 10 Filipinos are at the peak or nearing the peak of their productive lives ito yung uh, mga nagtatrabaho in basketball terms condition no well-oiled machines mas matagal pang magiging miyembro ng Philippine labor force and then when it comes to remittances you know again talk about demographic sweet spot when it comes to remittances sabi naman nila sabi ng Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas and uh, the the National Economic Development Authority or NEDA, at least 12% of Philippine households rely on transfers from overseas Filipinos. So, medyo malaking uh, porosyento yun. But the good thing about that is OFW remittances, despite the pandemic, OFW remittances remain to be resilient and continues to be supported by large and stable overseas Filipino population. So, from again, from, from uh, an income standpoint, uh, we need not worry about uh, the job market. We need not worry about remittances. No? So what I'm trying to say here is the Philippine economy being uh, largely consumer uh, driven by consumer spending and uh, the drivers of consumption are actually intact. No? Uh, purchasing power is stable. Uh, we're seeing household savings from uh, ay mga na, na, na natitipid natin from transportation, from allowance, baon ng mga, mga anak, uh, school bus, uh, 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 pamasahe, parking, fuel, uh, the labor market is recovering. So hindi lang, hindi lang natin pinag-uusapan yung demographic sweet spot, but as we speak, we see more and more people who lost their jobs uh, either getting rehired or nakakuha sila ng ibang employment, experience, uh, employment uh, opportunity with a better pay. And lastly, sabi nga natin kanina, remittances are very strong. Remittances remain to be resilient. But, but obviously, these things, these development, no, these won't translate to pre-pandemic. These won't translate to full economic recovery if mobility is still restricted. Diba parang sobrang saya imagine and sobrang saya pakinggan na ito yung mga nangyayari but at the end of the day, if we're really going to, if we're going to be very honest about it, hindi natin aasahan yung full economic recovery kung limitado yung dalawa natin. O bawal, bawal, because you're uh, on, on, on MECQ. Bawal because uh, we're under alert level 4, di ba? So yun yung mga nakasanayan na natin ng na mga restrictions. So all I'm really saying here is, yes, yes, uh, Philippine consumption will remain uh, to be strong. And it's expected to make a very, very strong rebound, especially coming from uh, 2020. But if you if you'll observe, lalo na ito, kung titingnan nyo to, yung hina-highlight ko dito sa, sa screen, no? If you'll observe, from that slump in 2020, because of lockdown measures, 
daming bawal, ang daming pinasara, hindi hindi pwedeng lahat ng miyembro ng pamilya lumabas, mayroong mga EPOR, di ba? Ang daming mga quarantine restrictions. Because of lockdown measures and general market fear, takot tayo eh, di ba? Parang people, even on social media, they, they were encouraging people, stay at home, stay at home as much as possible. Because of general market fear and lockdown measures, people turn to panic buying. Diba? I mean, if, if you're going to look back, if you're going to rewind what you guys are thinking about you know, March 2020, April 2020, uh, May 2020, it's all about panic buying. I, I need to buy this. I need to buy that. We need to stock more of this. We need to stock more of that. Uh, they, they, they wanted to stockpile essential food items uh, because, again, Filipinos try to stay at home as much as possible. Again, it's, it's human nature. Natural na mangyayari yun. And expected na natin yun. But then again, limited mobility also brought activities indoors. You know, you and me, uh, kung, kung hindi man tayo directly, we, we, we have people from our network, people from our circle of friends, no? Um, adopting uh, the work-from-home setup. Yung mga chikiting, yung mga bata, yung mga pinsan natin, yung mga anak natin, they, they, they had to do uh, homeschooling, yung e-learning setup. Uh, activities, yung mga essentials, uh, even even uh, uh, yung mga recreational activities, everything had to be indoors, uh, you know. So what I'm trying to say here is this this trend, this pandemic, this introduced new consumer trends such as uh, what we call home entertainment. Okay, and and daming na inventong salita, eh. hindi lang hindi lang ube cheese ang disal yung na invento, hindi lang dalgo na coffee ang ang inimbento ng mga Koreans na the influence sa mga Pilipino. Ang dami. One of them happens to be what we call home The rise no, in, in popularity, all the more of uh, Netflix, Spotify, entertainment on demand, which paved the way to Filipinos embracing, uh, you know, uh, third-party aggregators like uh, Grab, Lalamove, uh, Mr. Speedy, and online shopping apps, of course, like uh, Lazada and then Shop. This eventually also paved the way to Filipinos, whether they like it or not, whether they're comfortable or not, embracing e-wallets like Gcash, like uh, Paymaya. And uh, this essentially forced even the biggest banks no, to enhance their mobile banking apps. And some of them even waived the interbank transfer fees. No? But uh, and again, that's that's a quick look back no, at what happened because of the pandemic. But then again, if you were go- going to look at it, parang karamihan naman dito are welcome development. No? These are things na masaya tayong nangyari because it brought us, it brought fintech, it brought banking, it brought e-commerce to the next level. So again, if we're going to look back every time, no, kung titingnan natin tong graph na to, uh, if we're going to look back every time the government eases restrictions, say MECQ uh, to to uh, GCQ to MECQ, GCQ to ECQ. Ako personally, nalilito na ako. What's what's the difference between all those acronyms, right? Um, alert level four to alert level three. Shorter curfew hours, you know, more establishments being allowed to operate. If you're going to look at it, every time the government does that, spending on essentials was quick to normalize. Hindi na tayo masyadong nagpapanic buying, hindi na, shat, na tayo masyadong nagsistockpile ng, ng pansit kanton, hindi na tayo masyadong nagsistockpile ng mga delata. Because somehow, nag, nag, na, napupunta sa reopened sectors yung spending ng mga Pilipino. We're seeing some shift no, in spending towards reopened sectors such as uh, malls, for example, restaurants, uh, personal services, despite them operating on limited capacity. Uh, what we also observed, we also saw a recovery of alcoholic beverages. No? Uh, they, they're, they're measured in terms of uh, beer volume sales, alcohol volume sales. Uh, for example, ikri- uh, we, we also observed increased small foot traffic. So, mas maraming tao yung pumapasok sa mall. Whether they're buying essentials there or gusto nilang, you know, for, for mental health, na nasanay sila, oh, it's relaxing. Uh, mall foot, foot traffic generally increased, no? Um, uh, better restaurant, uh, same store sales growth. Um, and of course, basically, Filipinos is uh, increased uh, discretionary spending. So, hindi tayo masyadong nandun sa consumer, no? Uh, nagno normal sabi nga natin. And with the situation, of course, with the situation because of uh, reports, because of developments, uh, with the situation getting better and better as we learn more more and more about the virus, as uh, more and more Filipinos get vaccinated. So again, this is us no, uh, trying to remind you guys that if you're not vaccinated, please do get vaccinated. 
and uh, it, it just gives uh, the government and business owners the confidence and uh, you know uh, the confidence to more and more open uh, the economy and their businesses altogether uh, for us to you know slowly return to normalcy um uh, uh philippine households sabi nga natin continue to save and uh, pay off debt at the same time so it's one thing that Filipinos are saving money. Nakakatipid tayo dahil medyo wala tayong mga bakasyon muna. Wala tayong uh, mga pinagkakagasusan na iba- ibang bagay. Data from the Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas show that aggregate personal savings reached 6.2 trillion pesos in May 2021. So just a few months ago. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Ang ibig sabihin nito, 20% higher daw ang nasa, na itatabi. 20% higher daw ang nasa-save ng, mga, ng isang regular na Pilipino, ng isang regular na pamilya, compared to pre-pandemic, uh, the, the pre-pandemic times, compared to 2019. Again, this is, a, this is good news. Ibig sabihin, may pera. May, may, may perang na itatabi. At uh, again, because of uh, data, nakita natin na may na itatabing pera ang mga Pilipino, pero nakakapagbaya din sila ng utang. No? So this, can, this can be attributed to spending cuts brought about by COVID-19. But this is not a sign of risk aversion. Hindi ibig sabihin nito, takot tayong gumastos, takot tayong gamitin ng pera. But perhaps because of uh, uh, a result of stay-at-home trends. So there's less urgency to spend on, for example, uh, auxiliary expenses relating to outdoor activities. And of course, fewer spending options. Kasi kahit naman gusto mong lumabas, kahit gusto mong mamili, uh, sarado naman yung mga establishments. No? So what I'm trying to say here is quarantine measures also curtailed spending on uh for for example leisure um uh, recreation uh, ako, for example parang it's been almost two years since i last played basketball um hotels uh catering events travel and tourism so just to prove my point just to prove my point since uh, again being super passionate about uh, financial literacy no? um just to prove my point excess savings of filipinos uh, excess savings of Filipinos can be highlighted by just the financial markets. Just looking at the financial markets. Let's look at first metrosec. We at first metrosec logged record high number of uh, investment accounts being open. We at first metrosec recorded the record high number of investment education events. This one included. We even recorded record high trading volume from retail investors, which can be interpreted as Filipinos gradually, slowly, one step at a time, being financially literate, you know, uh, uh, transitioning from uh, from uh, spenders to savers and then savers to becoming investors. Now, we know for sure, let's talk about what we know, talk about what we don't know. We know for sure that online shopping Pag-usapan na natin ito kanina. Online shopping, e-commerce, uh, mobile banking, basically changed the way we transacted. Kaya dati, for, for, for you to be able to pay your friend something. Sige, sige, pag nagkita na lang tayo. Sige, pag nagkita tayo. Sige, de-deposit ko sa'yo. Pero bukas na kasi sarado yung banko. Ngayon, it's, it's a GCash transaction away. It's a PayMy transaction away. It's, uh, it's a bank transfer uh, transaction away. So we know those things uh, basically change the way we, we transact with, with each other changed the way we bought things online, lalo na. But what we don't know is, will online shopping consumption stay? Yun, hindi natin alam. Let's find out. It's up for us to find out. We know for sure that the government is really looking to, to lose restrictions more and more. Diba? The government faced a lot of criticism. And the government was criticized that during the height of the Delta variant, parang they even, uh, they even chose to... Uh, lower the quarantine restriction of NCR. But again, because they're trying to balance no, the economy and the health of the people. Eh. So parang it's, it's a very difficult task. But then again, we know for sure, as much as possible, gusto ng gobyerno mag, mag, maging, mag-loosen restrictions for, for, for people to be able to spend more, for businesses to be able to reopen, uh, for, for businesses to be able to rehire people that they let go of during the height of the pandemic. But we do not know if consumers will regain the confidence to go back to brick and mortar or physical stores to shop, di ba? Hindi natin alam kung tayo mismo uh, magkakaroon pa ba tayo ng confidence to go out and physically pick out your grocery one item, one one by one item, putting it physically into your 
uh, shopping cart. Lalo na ngayon na nakita mo na yung conveniences of online shopping. So again, those are just some of the things that we know. And those are also some of the things that we don't know. We know for sure that uh, household spending had to focus more on essentials. Pag-usapan natin yun din yun kanina. Essentials and this resulted to savings and eventually debt payment. But we do not know if this is still going to be the case moving forward, especially as travel, tourism, ano pa ba, yung in-expect natin na bumalik, leisure, spending on leisure, discretionary spending, they're expected to go back anytime soon. Kasi kasama yan sa, kasama sa package yan, no? when, you, when you reopen the economy. So what I'm trying to say here, guys, is uh, there are still a lot of things that uh, we are unsure of. And I mean, it's a good thing that we must admit na may mga bagay talaga na hindi pa tayo sigurado. There's still a lot of things that were uh, the, that are uncertain. But uh, so totoo lang, that's the name of the game. Eh. Uh, ang importante lang dyan is we are aware of the risks. We are wary about the risks from things that we have very little knowledge about. Uh, hindi natin sigurado, hindi tayo masyadong experts, hindi tayo, hindi natin masyadong, hindi tayo masyadong familiar with. And on the flip side, we just have to make the most out of those that we are a bit more familiar with, di ba? So iwas ka sa mga bagay na hindi ka masyadong expert, hindi ka masyadong magaling, hindi ka masyadong familiar. If you're going to make a decision, doon ka pupunta no? sa mga bagay na medyo mas may alam ka. And ganun din, syempre, when it comes to uh, investments. No? So, in order for us to, you know, First Metro Asset Management, FAMI, and First Metro Sec uh, together, in order for us to guide our clients so they can make uh, more more uh, informed investment decisions, important ito for you, no? Important it for, for investors that you're guided when it comes to decisions, when it comes to your hard-earned money. We came up with a few parameters on choosing which stocks to buy for us to be able to benefit from the recovery of the Philippine economy. In particular, the consumer sector, which, sabi nga natin kanina, makes up at least 70% of Philippines' gross domestic product. Number one, malls and companies with mall-based outlets. Bakit? You know, as soon as consumer confidence returns, sabi nga natin, mall foot traffic will improve. When mall foot traffic improves, so will sales of outlets and businesses, establishments, selling essentials, and even food. So in particular, because of this parameter, three names stand out. You have SM Retail, you have Robinson's Retail, or RHI. And of course, you have Jollibee Foods Corporation, JFC. Number two, of course, restaurants. Iba yung malls and mall-based outlets. Ibang, ibang usapan din yung restaurants. Dining in, whether you admit it or not, or whether you're aware or not, well, at least for me, dining in is an experience. No? Actual dining in, for me, it's an experience. And even though restaurants, as we speak, are still implementing a cap no, on customers uh, allowed to enter their premises, means it depending on the, the quarantine classification, 10% to 30% to max of 50%, consumers still dine in. Kasi sabi nga natin, iba yung experience eh. Anecdotally, case in point, no, you just can't enjoy. Ako, I can't enjoy Mang Inasal delivered. Ma ma madali, I, I, I can order online, but I just can't enjoy Mang Inasal delivered. Why? Only rice? <laughs> that only rice plus chicken oil combo on site is just an experience. The lifting of liquor ban, for example, shorter per few hours, uh, pinapayagan ng mag-operate yung restaurants, those are seen to benefit the sales of um, alcoholic beverages. So that being said, pasok ulit dito, GFC, Jollibee Foods Corporation, which basically also owns Mang Inasal. Um, San Miguel Food and Beverage, FB. And of course, let's, let's throw in Emperador. Kasi syempre may, may, may mga tao na kahit hindi naman sila alcoholic, parang iba rin yung merong, merong opportunity for them to drink two bottles after office. Two bottles before the weekend. Two bottles during the weekend. Walang liquor ban, diba? Number three, we see the return to office and the return to face-to-face -face classes. No? The, re the return of face-to-face -face classes as a key contributor to a number of uh, stocks. Though this is most likely going to be a hybrid stop. Uh, once every two weeks, office ka, uh, the next couple of weeks, uh, uh, work from home. Uh, yung iba blended pag sa schools, no? depende sa course, depende sa discipline, and uh, depende rin sa comfort level ng mga parents. But uh, the return to office and the face-to-face -face classes will bring back consumption for 
for baon whether baon for school or baon for 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 the office um uh, morning drive through coffee uh, kung hindi ka nagtitimpla ng kape mo sa bahay or you, you get it from from some place else you, you drive through for it office lunch breaks um, uh, and the return of uh, parents buying pasalubong for their kids. Um, uh, with this uh, in mind, ang naisip naming mag-benefit, mag-benefit dito would be uh, top four, no? top four names, Universal Rubino Corporation, URC, Robinson's Retail pa rin because, again, because of their grocery chain, no? SM Retail because of their grocery chain, Hypermarket, Save More, and syempre, andito pa rin si Jollibee, uh, GFC, of course, Greenwich, Mang Inesal, Chow King, Red Ribbon, di ba? Uh, throwing Dunkin' Donuts there. So that's it, no? Uh, and then we have uh, number four. Hindi pa tayo tapo. We still have uh, a couple of more, a couple of uh, parameters more. Number four, I guess uh, you'll agree with me on this, no? Health and wellness will be here to stay. You know, uh, pandemic or no pandemic, people realized the importance of sanitation. People realized the importance of uh, cleanliness. And because of lack of physical activities, health-conscious households started looking into healthier food uh, food alternatives. Mga hindi, hindi, sabi ko nga, no, hindi, hindi nakakapag-basketball, hindi na masyadong nakalabas, hindi na masyado, wala na masyadong physical activities, wala na masyadong exercise. So, babawi na tayo sa diet, babawi tayo sa food. And the uh, demand for this space, the, the, the healthier food alternatives, no, will uh, continue to be elevated even in the next normal. So, sino-sino tong mga to, we like Monde, Monde Nisen. We like CNPF, uh, Century Pacific uh, Food, uh, canned tuna, di ba? Um, and of course, San Miguel Food and Beverage, hot dogs, uh, 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 cold cuts, di ba? So that's it for health and wellness, number four. And lastly, Ito, lastly, number five, mga nag adulting dito. The work from home and homeschooling uh, setup made a lot of Filipino families realize the importance of uh, having an extra space. Uh, extra balcony space, extra ex- an extra room, uh, having an extra space for, for uh, a coffee corner, for example. But uh, ultimately, most households spent during the, the, the pandemic to create a work from home corner or perhaps uh, they, they, they spent to convert a storage room into a virtual classroom or in, into a virtual office some families uh, sad to say realized this the hard way especially if uh, a relative had to be isolated so kailangan may, may sariling room yan whether symptomatic asymptomatic uh, importante pa rin yung isolation diba but just the same, we still expect construction and renovation to flourish, especially with the, the proliferation of uh, online communities providing guidance to its members. No? So the rise of uh, virtual kapitbahays, you know, home bodies, the rise of plantitos and plantitas will surely benefit uh, uh, Wilcott, whether you're the DIY uh, kind of guy or you're the type of guy who would like to you know, outsource it to a contractor. At the end of the day, at, at one point or another during that construction process, pupunta at pupunta ka rin, or whether you or your contractor will definitely go to will. But, so, these may be a handful. Itong mga pinag-usapan nating pangalan. They may be a handful, but uh, these stocks uh, are, are, these are stocks that we see benefiting from further uh, reopening of uh, uh, the economy. The shift in terms of consumer spending uh, and Filipinos embracing the next normal. Ito, ito yung mga pangalan na sa palagay namin, sa palagay ng first metro set, uh, most likely will get uh, a, a larger piece of the pie, uh, a larger share of the Filipino uh, consumer wallet. And the good thing about that is, na tayo, di ba? Is, here, here's the fun part. And the good thing about that is all of these stocks, no? the Jollibees, the Mondes, the, the URCs, FB, CNPF, Wilcon, uh, you have uh, P Gold, Pure Gold, you have Robinson's Retail, Emperador. You can buy all of them one very amazing mutual fund. I'm talking about Fanny's first Metro Consumer Fund or FMCF, a mutual fund you can buy through first Metro Securities goods waive the commissions, waive transaction fees for what? As little as five thousand pesos minimum investment amount. 
FMCF is not just your hassle-free, budget-friendly hack. Right? You, you and me, millennials, we know shortcuts as hacks to investing in the Philippine growth story. Hindi lang yun yun. It's also a way for our partners from FAMI to transform us, Filipinos, from savers to investors. And again, I have my good friend Nikki Monzon to tell us more about this. So that being said, that's pretty much my uh, my presentation. So let me turn you back over to uh, our host, Sir G. Gillianes. GP, take it away. All right. Thank you for that informative and concise presentation, Sir Andoy. Now, uh, we know First Metrosec Research Team's outlook on the Philippines consumer sector and their stock picks. We also know how to buy FAMI mutual funds from First Metro Securities FundSmart. Again, if you have questions regarding the presentation, feel free to ask them in the questions tab of the GoToWebinar panel. The speakers will answer them during the live Q&A portion after both presentations. So uh, now we move on to the next part of the webinar. Uh, let me just uh, give uh, presentation rights to Mam Nikki. All right. Now, uh, our next speaker is currently the head of the bank and non-bank at First Metro Asset Management Incorporated since December 2019. She was formerly with BDO Treasury as a fixed income sales trader, and prior to that, the trust marketing officer of Maybank Philippines Incorporated. She also had a stint with BPI Investment Management Inc. and Citibank Saving Inc. as a mutual fund distribution officer and personal banking officer, respectively. She completed her college degree from Ateneo de Manila University and has more than 11 years of experience in asset management, financial advisory, trust marketing, and retail branch banking. Let's all welcome Ms. Nikki Monzon. All right, how are you, Ms. Nikki? Would you like to first greet our attendees tonight? Thank you once again for the introduction, JP, and for allowing FAMI to have this joint webinar. And um, for those who are watching, good evening as well. I hope you and your families are safe amid the pandemic. All right. Welcome, Ms. Nikki. So before we start with your presentation, um, let me just ask a few questions. Uh, first is, are mutual funds ideal for newbie investors? Well, of course, JP, yes, uh, mutual funds are ideal for new investors. In fact, uh, these funds cater to all investors with different risk uh, appetites, so from conservative to aggressive, and with investment horizon from short term to long term. That's nice to hear, Ms. Nikki. Now, um, next is, how can FAMI help Filipinos transform from being savers to investors? Okay, so, well, uh, FAMI can help uh, Filipinos from being savers to investors by providing uh, value and added knowledge through our materials, videos, and, of course, webinars like this to uh, enable us to fully understand what mutual funds are and how these can be beneficial to our financial needs. Thank you for that, Ms. Nikki. Now, our attendees are probably excited to know more already. If you have questions regarding your presentation, uh, we encourage you to put them in the questions tab of the GoToWebinar panel. Again, the speakers will answer them later during the live Q&A portion after both presentations. Without further ado, let's give the floor to Ms. Nikki Monzon. Okay, thank you and good evening once again. So tonight, as mentioned by JB, uh, I will be discussing what mutual, uh, what First Metro Consumer Fund is and how it is different from the other mutual funds in the market today, how the said fund should fit into the overall portfolio of, our invest, uh, of Filipino investors and how we, as investors, can contribute to the economic recovery of the Philippines through First Metro Consumer Fund. So first, let's start off. What is First Metro Consumer Fund? So this is an actively managed uh, equity fund of First Metro Asset Management Inc. or FAMI, where it seeks to generate long-term returns 
from listed Philippine companies or consumer equities by mirroring the performance of these companies. The fund also aims to outperform PSEI or the Philippine Stock Exchange Index by leveraging on the stock performance of companies dependent on consumer spending behavior. First Metro Consumer Fund is also ideal for investors who are able to tolerate high re risks, seeking equity investments with high growth and diversification. So some of the salient features or advantages of investing in First Metro Consumer Fund is first, the thematic approach. No? So uh, First Metro Consumer Fund is the first consumer fund in the industry. So it focuses on consumption-related spending companies, which mainly differentiate First Metro Consumer Fund from other mutual funds. Also, it has easy access to companies likely to benefit from our country's domestic consumption, especially once our economy further reopens that comprise majority of our GDP, as mentioned by Andoy earlier. So first, Metro Consumer Fund can be opportunistic and may potentially outperform the PSEI. So in this case, as of uh, October 20, First Metro Consumer Fund was able to generate a positive year-to-date return of 5.69%, whereas PSEI is still uh, at uh, around 2% as of the same date. Also, First Metro Consumer Fund provides diversification, as mentioned earlier, helps reduce risk versus investing directly in stocks by allowing our fund managers to decide which underlying companies to invest in and provide optimal returns based on its uh, fund, the fund objectives. And lastly, affordability since for as low as 5,000 pesos initial and 1,000 pesos additional, you may already take advantage of First Metro Consumer Fund's potentially higher returns, which also lowers your cost of investing. So now, shown on your screens are the fund details of First Metro Consumer Fund, where it was launched on January 12, 2018. Do note that the fund has a minimum holding period of six months, although this should not be a concern given that whenever we invest in aggressive funds such as First Metro Consumer Fund, we must have that mindset to invest for long term of around five years or even longer. So uh, as you can see, the management fee is 1.75% per annum, which is already incorporated in its price or net asset value per share. So whatever the NAVPS of the fund is, that's already net of fees and Access. Also, clients who intend to invest in First Metro Consumer Fund through First Metro a Securities Platform would have a waived sales load or entry fee that can further maximize your investment amount. So now, uh, allow me to share with you the top five holdings and portfolio mix of First Metro Consumer Fund as of October 15, 2021. And if you notice, all these top five companies were previously mentioned by Andoy that we believe could uh, further contribute the uptrend of our economy, specifically for PSEI. No? So Jollibee, Mondenesin, uh, URC, San Miguel Food and Beverage, and Wilcon. Also, the fund intends to maintain its overweight positions in uh, consumer stable names from industrial and service, services sector that we believe would be more resilient amid the quarantine restrictions. Okay, now, so uh, since I have shared what First Metro Consumer Fund is and how it is different from other mutual funds, allow me to share with you how this fund should fit into your portfolio. So first, uh, first Metro Consumer Fund would fit into your overall portfolio given the diversification as previously mentioned and sets to benefit from the Philippines growing consumer market, especially in the long run. Furthermore, the fund would add value to your investment portfolio since First Metro Consumer Fund allows you to save 
uh, time by investing in a basket of securities instead of investing directly in different stocks, which for some find tedious or time consuming. The fund is also being managed by our professional fund managers who can determine the, the best companies to invest in and actively manage the fund on your behalf based on the consumer driven growth potential of the Philippines. So if you also uh, believe the, in the strength of our the recovery of our economy, where we think PSCI can potentially increase in 2022, due to the further reopening of the economy on higher vaccination rate, uh, post-election optimism, and corporate earnings, which we believe uh, would go back to pre-pandemic level by fourth quarter of 2022. And lastly, if you have that long-term investment horizon amid the volatilities to maximize potential returns, then first Metro Consumer Fund is the right fund for you. So now, how can we as investors contribute to the economic recovery of the country? No? So uh, provided that private consumption is a majority or major driver of the Philippine economy, which comprises around uh, three-fourths or 70% of our GDP, investing in first Metro Consumer Fund can contribute to our economy uh, economy's recovery by supporting consumer staples that ultimately improves the Philippines GDP growth that will be, uh, we believe, would be more resilient amid quarantine restrictions. No? In uh, line also with our expectations on higher growth spending, in, uh, in line with our due to uh, in line with our upcoming 2022 elections and vaccine rollout gaining momentum that may lead to further uh, reopening of the economy. So in this regard, we should see this as an opportunity to invest in a first metro consumer fund while the NAVPS or price are still uh, relatively cheaper and ride out volatility to enjoy the fund's potentially higher returns, especially once our economy further recovers. So that's it for me, JP. Thank you. Thank you for that very comprehensive presentation, Ms. Nikki. Now, we already know about the salient points of First Metro Consumer Fund, how it is different from other mutual funds in the market today. We also learned how First Metro Consumer Fund fits into the overall portfolio of the Filipino investor. Lastly, we learned how investing in First Metro Consumer Fund can help contribute to the economic recovery of the Philippines. There are many who are interested to know more as there are questions submitted by the audience. All right, so uh, let's roll through those questions. Uh, all right, first question will be for Sir Andoy Beltran. Uh, Sir Andoy, uh, what are the advantages when investing in mutual funds through FundSmart? Yeah, uh, thanks JP. No, again, um, I, I, I subtly, subtly uh, mentioned this uh, during the presentation. Nikki was also able to uh, uh, talk about this about FundSmart. Um, uh, as it is, so we natin pag usapan si Fund Smart, no? As it is, um, uh, the investing public should uh, should uh, be made aware that investing in mutual funds will uh, uh, actually give them uh, tax exemption pagdating sa uh, capital gains tax, no? So parang hindi tax free, uh, hindi na hindi nila kailangan magbayad ng capital gains tax, no? So for for mutual fund investors, so as it is. Um, maybe, uh, it, it, it already is an attractive investment uh, vehicle. Oh, okay yun. Okay. Sabi nga ni Nikki, no, if uh, walang masyadong binabawa sa pera mo, uh, you, you get to make the most out of your money. But because of FundSmart, um, aside from not uh, uh, no longer having to pay capital gains tax, mutual fund investors, um, uh, especially those who eventually you know, opt by First Metro Consumer Fund, for example, they'll no longer be charged with uh, sales loads. They'll no longer be charged with, uh, for example, uh, transaction fees. If a mutual fund charges transaction fees, they'll no longer be charged with uh, commissions. 
So very very important 'yun kasi habang dumadami yung mga bagay na binabawas sa sa investments mo, mas kumokonti yung potential ng ng pera mo to make more, more money. Uh, we designed fund smart that way because we are pro investors. So again, just like FAMI, FAMI um uh, sabi nga nung battle cry nila, they're transforming Filipinos from savers to investors. Tayo din din. We're, we're just, just that's why we're partners. Um because uh, we would like to we would like investors to make the most out of uh, their money. So kung mga may mga bagay na pwedeng hindi natin tanggalin, mga, mga bagay na pwedeng hindi natin i-charge sa kanila, hindi. So just to be very very clear, just to be perfect, just to be, you know, uh, 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 be very clear about it. Hindi naman natin tinatanggal yung fund management fee. Hindi natin pwedeng tanggalin 'yon kasi sabi nga ni Nikki, no, we have uh, uh, professionals uh, making investment decisions for us. Syempre, kailangan nating i-compensate sila for for the research, for the job that they're doing for our money. In outsource natin sa kanila eh. We don't we no longer have to think. Uh, ano bang magagandang stocks ang bilhin? Ano bang magandang uh, investment sa pasukan ko? Ano? So yung 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 oras na na-save mo by by researching those stuff, yung risks na na-save mo by uh, not being able to make uh, mistakes because of uh, hearsay because of hype uh, yun na yung ibinabayad natin sa kanila by way of uh, fund management fees naman so ayun uh, that's essentially the, uh, the 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 most important uh, uh, benefit i can think of when it comes to uh, people in- investing in sports funds mark not to mention that uh, they get to build a very uh, uh, what which call this uh, Uh, multi-asset, multi-currency portfolio. So kung meron ka ng existing stocks, meron ka ng existing exchange-traded fund, which of course is also being managed by FAMI, uh, ang ETF, uh, meron ka ng existing real estate investment trust. So you get to further diversify it by adding mutual funds into the mix. Hindi mo na kailangan lumabas ng me- first Melcosec platform. It's, it's already there. Just need to look at, uh, just need to click that fund smart uh, tab. All right. Thank you for that uh, answer, Sir Andoy. Hopefully, that made things clear on the advantages of investing in mutual funds through First Metro Securities Fund Smart. Again, that's our one-stop shop for mutual fund investing. Uh, the next question will be for Ms. Nikki. So, as a mutual fund investor, can I choose the stocks or bonds that I want exposure to? Uh, well, uh, since mutual funds are pooled investments from different clients, our professional fund managers decide which companies to invest in that are also based on extensive knowledge and research of the market conditions and on the financial performances of the individual companies or specific securities. So allow us to uh, have that uh, decision to better provide um, potentially mac- uh, higher returns. All right. Thank you for that, Ms. Nikki. Uh, next, I guess this question is coming from an existing client. No? Uh, this is again for Sir Andoy Beltran. So he is asking, why do I have a different buying power for stocks and mutual funds? Yeah. Most likely, yung uh, nagre-reflect kasi sa, sa stock market uh, portfolio mo, Uh, the, re- the reason why it's uh, it, it's showing a different uh, figure is because when it comes to mutual fund uh, uh, investing, dapat cleared funds ang, ang hawak mo. Uh, yun yung nagre-reflect doon. So cleared funds, ibig sabihin kapag nagbenta ka, for example, today, um, uh, or sabi natin Wednesday, nagbenta ka Wednesday uh, ng, ng, ng stocks because gusto mong bumili ng FMC, FMCF, nakita mo yung Uh, social media post ng First Metro, oy okay to. Tapos, uh, umatid ka. Uh, Sakto, Wednesday, nagbenta ka. By Friday, T plus 3, uh, uh, sorry, um, yeah, uh, by, by Friday, pwede ka nang mag, uh, pwede mo nang gamitin yung proceeds of uh, your your uh, your stock market, uh, uh, the stock market, uh, the stocks you've sold to be able to buy mutual funds. So the reason why iba ang nare-reflect na, 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 na figures is because when it comes to mutual funds, ang pwede mo lang gamitin would be cleared funds. But when it comes to stocks, kasi pag, nag, pag nagbenta ka right now, pwede mo agad siyang gamitin pag naging part na siya ng buying power mo. No? So kailangan lang niyang mag-clear. Kailangan lang niyang mag-clear. If, uh, for example, gustong gusto mo nang bumili tapos hindi pa nag-clear yung Uh, yung yung proceeds no ng ng binenta mong stocks 
uh, hindi pa tapos yung yung, yung three day clearing period um, you also have the option naman to fund uh, to to in, in, inject fresh funds into uh, into your portfolio uh, ayun pag in, pag fresh funds naman ang pinag-uusapan natin third funds din naman yon so yon uh, yon ang dahilan why uh, your fund smart buying power sometimes sometimes lang naman not not, not all the time uh, uh, reflects a different number compared to a, a different figure uh, different amount versus your uh, stock market portfolio's buying power Thank you for that, Sir Andoy. And yeah, we really get that question. No, kasi paminsan na nagugulat sila bakit magkaiba talaga. Hopefully, thank you for clarifying that, Sir Andoy. Uh, here, uh, next question would be for Miss Nikki. So, um, if the companies where the mutual fund invest in give out dividends, do I get dividends as well? Uh, thank you for that uh, question, JP. So for FAMI's mutual funds in particular, our fund managers reinvests the dividends, if any, to further increase the assets under management or AUM that helps maximize potential returns. All right. Thank you for that, Ms. Nikki. Uh, next question would be for Sir Endoy. Uh, the client po has existing FAMI funds. Uh, will they see it or their holdings in the FundSmart platform? Yeah. Um, existing FAMI fund, uh, existing FAMI account holders. No? So again, thank you for, for uh, uh, patronizing the first Metro Group. Pero unfortunately po, no, um, hindi po pwedeng i-transfer. Hindi po pwedeng i-transfer yung existing FAMI uh, holdings your first metro second bawa newly opened first metro second account hindi po pwede yun um uh, usually po ang ginagawa nung iba is uh, uh nag nag na lang sila so parang hinihiwalay na lang nila no so kasi para para hindi ako nalilito sa sa mutual fund the holdings ko tsaka sa stocks ko uh, physically hiwalay siya uh, i'm i'm uh, going to retain my f- uh, first metro asset management uh, account for my mutual fund uh, portfolio and then i'm also going to retain my uh, First metro sec account for my direct uh, uh, stock market portfolio. But again, uh, to 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 uh, highlight that answer, hindi po pwede. Wala pong facility, uh, hindi po. That just, just because we're, we're sister companies, uh, uh, iniisip kasi nila madalas o oh, okay lang may may facility to transfer. Pero wala po. Ang pwede po, ang pwede is kung meron kang existing stock brokerage account with, uh, for example, a with another stock brokerage firm, and then nag-open ka ng first metro sec account. Uh, pwede yung transfer uh, ng existing stock. No? So it's, it's really all about, uh, it's really all a matter of um, uh, accomplishing uh, a broker transfer f- uh, form um, and then uh, getting in touch with our customer service team and then we'll be able to facilitate, we'll, we, we'll be able to assist you in facilitating the transfer from your existing stock brokerage uh, firm, stock brokerage account to your newly opened First MetroSec uh, uh, account. All right. Thank you for uh, answering that, Sir Andoy. Uh, now here's, uh, I think this question is for Miss Nikki. And I think uh, he's one of those na magsisimula pa lang mag-invest no, after hearing our webinar. So uh, the attendee is asking, is FMCF advisable for beginners? If yes, what strategy can you recommend to first-time investors? Okay, so as I've mentioned a while ago, FMCF is advisable for, advisable for all types of investors, new investors or sophisticated investors, as long as their investment objective is for wealth creation that can uh, tolerate higher risk, especially First, that uh, first metro consumer fund is considered an equity lace fund. No? So if they want to seek in the equity investments with high growth and diversification over the long term and uh, for at least for around five years, then this fund is for you. And uh, for my recommendation, I believe the best strategy for especially for first time con- um, investors is to cost average by having the discipline to regularly invest in first metro consumer fund to take advantage of the price regardless of the market condition and um ride the potential upside especially once our economy recovers so i All hope right. i was Thank able you to for answer your, that 
Yeah, uh, I think that's a really good nugget of wisdom, not to especially for new investors. Uh, now, in connection with that uh, question, uh, this is for Sir Andoy. Uh, in First Metro Securities, do you have a facility that automates peso cost averaging? Uh, yes. Um, sabi ko nga, yung, yung kanina, no, you, you talk about uh, shortcuts, talk about uh, 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 being efficient, talk about uh, simplifying things, tawag natin mga millennials trend hack. Um, first Metro Sec, First Metro Asset Management, uh, FMECF alone, uh, FMCF alone is a, an investment hack. No? Sabi natin, um, uh, it allows you to invest in uh, the top consumer names in the Philippines just by buying one fund. To answer that question, yes, meron, po, meron din pong investment hack ang First Metro Sec for people. Uh, sabi nga ni Nikki, sabi ni Nikki, uh, uh, maganda na mag uh, regular investing tawag natin cost averaging if you'd like to subscribe to that uh, uh, facility no? cost averaging every sweldo every quincenas every katapusan magi invest ka ng 1500 or 5000 pesos for you to be able to buy FMCF um meron po tayong voluntary investment program, VIP. So, sa pangalan pa lang, parang sobrang special ka na, voluntary investment program. Um, it automates your investing. Uh, you just need to tell the system how much are you uh, willing to invest. Ano, ano yung araw na gusto mong mag-invest na, pwede mong i-timing sa, sa sweldo pag na-credit na sa, sa account mo. Um, uh, ang available na options dito would be First Metro consumer fund, uh, first metro exchange traded fund, and any other, every every peso uh, peso denominated uh, uh, mutual fund in fund smart for that matter. But then again, sabi ko nga, no, as it is, uh, kahit hindi niyo na kailangan lumayo, FMCF is alone, is FM, is, uh, FMCF by itself alone is an investment hack. No? So uh, invest in Jollibee, San Miguel Food and Beverage, uh, Robinson's Retail, Emperador, uh, in, in one go, just by buying FMCF. So, yun, um, let, let me just uh, rephrase my statement kanina. Pwede mangyari is meron kang initial investment of 5,000 pesos for you to invest in FMCF. And then pwede yung succeeding na investments mo would be 1,000 pesos na lang. Uh, para yun yung maging regular investments mo through, through the voluntary investment program. Yeah. All right. Uh, that, that's very convenient, especially for those who are going to apply peso cost averaging. And yeah, I think for beginners, that's a really good start on how you can be transformed from savers into investors. Now, here's another question. Po. Uh, I think this is for fam, Miss Nikki. And uh, it's a little bit uh, intermediate level, yung tanong, no? So how is it being managed, the FMCF, and how are the companies chosen? Oh, okay, that's a good one. Huh? So, uh, in terms of uh, choosing the companies for, for first Metro Consumer Fund, our main criteria is for the companies to have at least 80% uh, of their revenues that directly serve, uh, provide service, or all or sell goods to the consumers, which. Um, we also take into consideration their free float and a market cap and how we put the weights for each underlying security of the fund. So I hope I was able to answer that question. Yeah, thank you for mm -hmm. that, uh, Ms. Nikki. So uh, there are more questions here, so we can answer some more. I think we still have time. Uh, yes. naman, I think this is for those who attended na wants to trade, trade stock. So this would be for Sir Andoy Beltran. So do you have demo account where an investor can practice trading first before opening a real account? Ay, yeah, meron tayong uh, first metrosec no, meron tayong uh, if I'm not mistaken, 3 or 5 day na trial account. Um uh, but yes, meron. Um uh, but uh, the thing is uh, yung yung steps no, the, the, the steps na it require uh, for you to open uh, that that uh, trial account. Uh, will practically be the same uh, if you're going to try to open a legit account. The uh, difference lang is you, you just need to provide us with uh, a legit uh, uh, tax identification number. 
just need to submit uh, a few documentary uh, requirements no? so ayun but then again uh, uh, okay lang yun uh, again it's a good thing about uh, the good thing about that is uh, it's going to the trial account is going to acquaint you uh, with the uh, first metro security says uh, platform ano yung mga features ano yung mga benefits ano yung mga bells and whistles niya uh, but uh, ultimately you no know, ultimately it's it's really designed for uh, it's really designed that way um, if you're uh, just uh, looking out uh, tinitingnan mo kung sino baka may magandang uh, uh, backup broker sanay ka na masyado sa, sa, sa existing broker mo naghahanap ka ng backup broker it's it's, it's designed that way and uh, hopefully hopefully you get to consider us no so yun uh, tama po meron po tayong uh, uh, trial account punta lang po kayo sa www.firstmetrosec.com.ph and meron po doon hanapin niyo lang yung uh, trial account opening uh, uh, platform Alright, thank you for clarifying that, Sir Andoy. Uh, next question, this is for Ms. Nikki. Um, an attendee is asking, what will happen if I fail to pay the manager's fee po? Or does it automatically deduct in the investment? I think the attendee is referring to the management fee. Yeah, so uh, as previously mentioned a while ago, the management fees of uh, First Metro Consumer Fund as well as uh, all mutual funds, no, uh, it is already incorporated in the net asset value per share or NAFPS. So whatever you will um, buy, uh, regardless of the number of shares, it is already net of taxes and fees. So there, I hope I get to, I got to answer your question. All right. Um, again, there's a follow-up question for our voluntary investment program facility. Um, yeah, so the question is, can we customize the VIP facility so we can pick a day other than 15 or 30 of the month? And I think same uh, from the same attendee, do we get a reminder yeah, from FMS to what? Yeah. Okay, sir. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, absolutely. No, uh, tama yun. Uh, hindi hindi kasi lahat ng uh, hindi lahat ng employees, hindi lahat ng business business uh, men uh, nagpapasweldo ng 15th and 30th. No, um, uh, so, some of them uh, credit uh, uh, pay, their, their payroll on the 10th and the 25th. So depende. Uh, so yun yung yun yung beauty no. no? Uh, you, you you put it perfectly. Uh, you can customize. Um, uh, you can tell the system uh, on, at, at this day. Uh, debit uh, 1,000 pesos from my uh, Metro Bank or BPI. So yun, isang, isang uh, nugget of information din. No? Um, ang auto-debit arrangement facility ng Voluntary Investment Program is currently open to uh, Metro Bank and BPI account holders palama. So yun, um, every every 10th of the month, de uh, debit 1,000 pesos from my BPI account. Um, every 25th, debit... Uh, debit another thousand pesos from from the same uh, account and then pwede uh, uh may, may isa ka pang account na naka-connect naman sa Metro Bank 1500 every 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 payday so yun you can customize uh, to answer that question you can customize the uh the the the, the schedule uh you tell us kung anong kung magkano ang 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 amount ang minimum lang if i'm not mistaken is 1500 a month so if you're doing 1000 every payday so pasok yun um, because that's uh, uh, going to total to 2000 pesos for that particular month jp i i i i i lost uh, i i i seem to i for, forgot ko ano yung second part ng question ano ulit yun uh, yeah, the question po is do we get a reminder from fms to fund our account before the day the vip will be executed uh as as far as i know wala as far as i know walang uh, walang uh, reminder no but uh, the good thing about that is, is very very good uh, very good uh, idea let let me let me pitch that to our uh, to our it and uh, backroom team uh, as, as far as i'm concerned parang wala eh. pero the good thing about that is uh, siguro let me just uh, uh, baka kasi iniisip nyo andoy anong penalty uh, just in case uh, makalimutan ko because you again you're asking about a reminder no anong magiging penalty kapag uh, yung yung 25th of the month ko hindi ako nakapag-fund walang extra ng pera na ubos ko uh, for nabudol ako ng 11-11 for example um Hindi ka naman mapepenalize. Walang penalty, walang walang anything, walang subpoena, walang walang magrereklamo sa iyo. 
um, uh, ang, ang mangyayari dyan is magre-reset na lang uh, the next uh, the next session on the 10th on, on the 10th, 10th of the next month uh, back to square one so ayun lang um, uh, uh, let let me get back to you on that ako personally I'm not sure if merong reminder kasi yung regular investing ko is uh, care of our HR eh. so hindi ako through the the the, uh, the platform so walang reminder pero doon sa doon sa penalty if uh, if in case ba mismo uh, wala po walang penalty what i do what i do though is uh, para meron na akong reminder um naka-schedule lang siya sa calendar ko uh, so yon um uh, siguro that that should do for now but uh, thank you uh, uh, to whoever asked that question it just gave, gave us an idea uh, let me let me check no kung, kung meron and kung wala i'm going to uh, make sure that it gets uh, uh, it gets proposed to the people uh, responsible for that so yeah tama ba jp I, 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 i'm not sure eh. M- meron ba tayong uh, reminder I, uh, for now, sir, I don't think meron reminder kasi I think the VIP facility natin ngayon, the, the instruction is for the client to actually fund their account. No? So from so in your uh, online banking facility, uh, you can actually set yung recurring uh, payment option or recurring yeah. transaction. So you yeah. can just, uh, for example, what you can do is, for example, yung sahod nyo is uh, every 15th and 30th. So to make sure na merong laman yung account niyo then you can set the recurring transaction one day after. So sabihin natin 16th and first day of the month. So you can yeah. just tell your online banking facility to fund your first MetroSec account uh, debit on this day. Before. Then yeah. 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 Kasi then ako yun, that if, way, if, if that's the case, if that's the case, I'm pretty sure merong merong email reminder yung online banking facility. So walang reminder si First MetroSec but because you arranged an auto debit facility between for example BPI and First MetroSec and Metro Bank and First MetroSec BPI or Metro Bank uh, will be the one responsible uh, for for uh, reminding you to remind you that oy uh, 14th of the month na may VIP facility ka uh, make sure na meron kang 1000 pesos so yeah uh, good point James yeah Thank you for that, Sir Andoy. Um, here, uh, we have another question. This is for Ms. Nikki. So, uh, an attendee here wants to see the percentage composition of the top 10 stocks, I think, for the certain fund, uh, for them to assess the relative performance. Uh, can they see this put in, uh, say, the fund fact sheet or, yeah? Okay, so based on our fund fact sheets, the top five holdings are uh, shown. No? So if um, you want to know more about the top 10 holdings, feel free to reach out to us and we will um, provide it to you as well. Yeah, so I there just, you go. So yeah, Thank you. I'll get later back. towards the end of the presentation, I'll be showing the contact details naman po of FAMI. So mm-hmm. yes. uh, you can directly see that there. And also if you're going to access it through FundSmart, uh, you can see there actually the top holdings. Top holding. So what I'm not sure if, if top 10 siya, uh, but I think top 10 yun nandoon. And the fan fact sheet can also be seen in the FontSmart na profile page. So you can just click on that so you can download it. Yeah, so let's see if we have other questions. Ayan, uh, I think this is for Miss Nikki again. So they're very interested about uh, FMCF. So to clarify, since the management fee is per annum and upon subscription, the management fee is already net of the NAVPU value. How is the management fee deducted every year? I think we get this question a lot also. Okay, so basically what our uh, accounting does is they accrue it on a daily basis. So instead of deducting it on a yearly basis, they on a daily basis siya and then incorporate on the net asset value per share. So I hope that clarifies your question. Um, yeah. Yeah, so thank you for clarifying that, Miss Nikki. So uh, I think, no, uh, it's already 7.12, I guess, and we're already out of time for this webinar. We actually extended for a bit just to cater uh, your questions. No? Uh, we, we apologize to the other questions that we were not able to answer because of the volume of the questions we have received. Now, which shows really interest in 
uh, our webinar tonight. So we thank you for that for your active participation. Okay, let's, so uh, let's take note. Uh, let, let's take note of uh, the unanswered questions, GP and uh, Nikki and myself will answer them uh, offline. Uh, I think we can capture the man who who sent uh, those questions, and then let's let's uh, let's uh, uh, get in touch with them offline, Yeah. Sure. All right. So yeah, we will be compiling then sending this also after the webinar. Thank you for that, Sir Andoy and Miss Nikki. Now, uh, so before we end this webinar, uh, allow me just to uh, promote no? uh, or remind you of uh, the different uh, facilities through First Metro Securities. So again, uh, if you have a First Metro Sec account, you only need that account for all your investment needs, uh, be it you'd like to trade stocks or invest in mutual funds, especially FMCF, which we highlighted uh, tonight. And also, the, there are also UITFs available uh, we also participate in uh, bond offerings, uh, usually from the Bureau of the Treasury. And of course, the F ETF, the Exchange Traded Fund, for now there's still one Exchange Traded Fund in the country, and that's also managed by FAMI. Uh, but yeah, you can trade it through First Metro Sec, so that's FM ETF. And of course, recent, yung mga real estate investment trust, you can also trade them through uh, either your desktop, laptop, or mobile phones, very easy. Uh, but what we, what we have featured tonight is actually uh, the, your ability to invest in mutual funds through First Metro Sex Fund Smart. So uh, again, just to give a recap, know why you need to invest in a mutual fund? Because of one, we employ the expertise. We let the fund managers do what they do best. And with that, it's very convenient and hassle-free. We don't need to monitor. All we need to see is the performance uh, over time. Then it also reduces the risk. Uh, through automatic diversification. Because imagine for your 5,000 pesos, you're already invested in a multitude of stocks, and it's, which is also professionally managed. And I think one of the uh, good features of mutual funds is its liquidity, as you can buy or redeem anytime you like. So again, uh, you can access all of that through FundSmart. And actually, FM, FMCF is just one of the many uh, funds funds that FAMI manages. No? So they also have multi-asset na mga mutual funds such as Save and Learn Equity Fund, Save and Learn Balance Fund, Save and Learn Fixed Income Fund, and Save and Learn Money Market Fund. Also, they also have the Philippine Index Fund and the Dollar Bond Fund. So again, uh, fa uh, FAMI manages uh, multi-asset and uh, multi-currency. So they also have peso and dollar-denominated mutual funds. So again, all of these funds are brought to us by First Metro Asset Management. Then, of course, when you fund your account as you are going to buy your mutual funds, you have lots of options and it's your call whether you'd like to fund your account through the online banking facilities of Metro Bank, the BPI or BDO, and even through PS Bank, Land Bank, Union Bank, or even convenient options such as Gcash and 7-Eleven. So you have tons of options on how you can fund your account and yeah, you can do that by opening your first MetroSec account today. And I'm going to show you later the steps and also the QR code on how you can do so. And again, um, I just want to reiterate um, this investing hack through First Metro Securities. Uh, Ms. Nikki actually recommended for newbie investors the peso cost average technique. So where you, in you invest a fixed amount over a fixed time in, uh, fixed amount over a regular time interval. And you can do so through our voluntary investment program. So uh, you just let us know no, uh, how much you'd like to invest and how frequent you'd like to invest. And this makes peso cost averaging easy for you and makes investing disciplined. Uh, it instantly diversifies you and, of course, hassle-free. Then, yeah, uh, for stock market guidance, we recommend that you uh, join our first MetroSec market updates Viber community. There are more than 3,000 members right now where we provide their market updates, first MetroSec announcements, uh, market education guidance, and even uh, performance of funds no, through FundSmart. So feel free to take a screenshot of this or scan this QR code so you can join our Viber community. Then also feel free to join our Facebook community. Uh, there are now 30,000 community members out there that you can interact with. Uh, maybe you can ask advice from the other investors out there. 
And of course, uh, that's also your way to reach out to us also. So feel free to join our Facebook community. And of course, no, for your learning, no, na mga, if you'd like to learn more, of course, it doesn't stop here. We've actually uploaded many free investing and saving webinars through our first MetroSec channel in YouTube. So we even upload there our stock market wrap-ups and some of our webinars that we conduct. Even the website navigation, you can see it there. Then for those who like to open an account, uh, these are the uh, three easy steps on how you can do so. So again, feel free to screenshot this page and even scan the QR code if you can. So just visit bit.ly slash FMS dash new account and click open an account. Then all you need to do is just complete the registration form, which is all online, and upload the required documents. All right, so uh, you can do this at the comforts of your home or even when you're drinking coffee, it would take you seguro 10 to 15 minutes of your time only. And of course, for all of you who want to open an account and you have attended this seminar, uh, feel free to use the code FMCF to let us know that you came from this session. All right. So also uh, for your market education needs, uh, if you want us to conduct uh, free webinars, feel free to send us an email at marketeducation at firstmetrosec.com.ph. So whether you're in Luzon, Visayas, or Mindanao, we can actually tailor fit uh, our webinars to your needs. No? And of course, if you want, we can deliver it in pure English, uh, pure Tagalog, or Taglish, and even Visaya. No? So we can actually do that for you. And of course, uh, you can download. We have a mobile app also. We call this First MetroSec Go. Uh, so you can just simply download them from the App Store or your Google Play Store. All right, so just uh, it's a very convenient because you can actually look at your portfolio on the go. And for more information, feel free to visit our help center at help.firstmetrosec.com.ph uh, for any question or any inquiries you have under the sun about First Metro Securities. So all this convenience within your reach through Finance Asia's Philippines Best Broker for 2017, 2018, and 2020, International Finance's Best Online Trading Platform and Best Online Broker, and Global Economics Best Brokerage House and Most Innovative Online Trading Platform for 2021. Here in First Metro Securities, we have a hashtag, Your Future First. And of course, we've done this webinar through the collaboration with First Metro Asset Management Incorporated. Again, their goal is to transform Filipinos from savers to investors. And with that, I'd like to thank you all for attending our webinar tonight. If you want to contact uh, FAMI with regards to uh, information about the funds, especially FMCF, uh, feel free to take a screenshot of these contact details uh, from their email addresses to their social media platforms and even email uh, even their uh, contact numbers in their head office, also in their Cebu and Davao offices. All right, so I'm going to give you time to actually take a screenshot of this. All right, so hopefully you uh, took a screenshot already. So again, if you want to connect with First Metro Securities, um, these are our platforms, that's www.firstmetrosec.com.ph. And you for the new platform, that's new.firstmetrosec.com.ph. And if you have a pro access, so that's pro.firstmetrosec.com.ph. So for our social media channels, just search for the handle at firstmetrosec. And yeah, you also have the email addresses there. If you have an concerns about your account, uh, you have your customer service email there. Then if you need to follow up on your account opening, so we also have the account opening email. And again, if you want to invite us to conduct sessions for you, uh, we have market education at firstmetrosec.com.ph. So again, I'm going to give you time to take a screenshot of this for your future reference. All right. Uh, with that, um, again, I'd like to thank you all for attending tonight's session. Hopefully, you learned a lot. And for the questions that we were not able to answer, we will uh, get back to you. So thank you, everyone, and have a pleasant night ahead. Uh, enjoy your dinners. Thank you, guys. Thank you, JP. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you.